Today we're going to take a look at resolving the issue in Corsair IQ where it's not detecting the MSI motherboard. In this case, we have an MSI Meg Ace Z690 installed in the system. We like the feature in Corsair IQ where you can control the motherboard lighting from the keyboard. The RGB headers on the motherboard, we have our CPU plugged into one of those headers, so we like to be able to control the lighting profile and turn the lighting on and off completely just by clicking the profile button on the keyboard. But sometimes IQ is not detecting the MSI Meg Ace in this system. It seems like they're still rolling this feature out, still polishing it up. It's been updated several times and it's gotten a little better each time with this cross hardware RGB control. What we found that worked is go to the Corsair IQ settings up here, the gear icon. Click. Go down to restart IQ service, click restart. Wait until it finishes cycling through the restart process. You'll see the button go from being grayed out to available again. Once you get access to the button, the restart has finished. It's completed. So we can close the settings. Close exit Corsair IQ. We don't want to just close it using the X up here in the top right of the window because that's going to leave it running in the background. We have a couple of different options. We can come down here to the notification bar if you have the notification icons available, displayed. Right click on the Corsair IQ icon and then select quit. That will quit the program completely. Terminate it. If you don't have the icon down in the notification bar, you can open up Task Manager and you can do it that way. You can go to the Details tab, go down to the I listings, look for IQ. Dot exe. You can highlight that and then click end task. Now that's a couple of different ways that you can exit, quit the Corsair IQ altogether. Once you exit Corsair IQ and terminate the program, we're going to go over to the start menu or wherever you have the link to this program. We're going to go down to the C listings, look for Corsair, expand that folder, and then we're going to click IQ. That's going to try to reopen IQ, but it's probably going to fail. At least it did in our case. So it failed. The keyboard lighting defaulted back to the onboard memory lighting. IQ just never started. So then we went back and we opened it again. So you may need to open it twice. Go back, click the IQ program launch shortcut. IQ should start. From the home screen, you should see it detect all of your Corsair peripherals, including the MSI motherboard. Once you see the MSI motherboard, you can click that, go in there, and you can set your lighting up. Here, we're cycling through some of the profiles. That allows us to change the colors, the profiles, the ambiance of the lighting, the mood of the lighting. Slip into something a little more comfortable. Or just turn it off because we can set one profile to have no onboard lighting. So we just cycle through till we get to the profile with no onboard lighting and that'll turn all of the lighting off on the motherboard headers. If you're having that issue, this is how you can work through it. Give it a try. Let us know if you have any success on your system using this process. Hopefully Corsair and MSI will continue to make progress to get this functionality more stable in the future. One, two, three. You and me. Slip into something. One, two, and you and me. A little more comfortable. The fu fu future. One, two, three, four, five. Keyboards, profile button. One, two, ain't no jive. A little more comfortable. Let's do it. One, two, and three.